Hey guys, it's Evan from EvanTube, and I went to my very first anime convention. A lot of stuff ended up happening, and I might have even gotten dressed up as an anime character. You'll have to watch to find out. But yeah, guys, if you didn't know, I like anime. Yeah, this is what went down. So for SAC Anime, I decided that I wanted to do my very first cosplay. I did meet Gus Ring Giancarlo Esposito, and I was wearing this Los Pollos Hermanos apron and outfit. So I don't know, if, I, would you count this as a cosplay? I don't know, but I'm not counting it as one. So for my first cosplay, I decided to do Jotaro Kujo from Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. So if you guys don't know who this guy is, he's pretty cool. He's not even my favorite character from that whole series. Jojo is one of my top three animes. I'll reveal to you guys by the the end of this video all my top three anime i decided to do jotaro though even though he's not my favorite character just because i felt like i could look like huh? him the most but i enlisted the help of my dad um, because i needed help doing makeup you might be asking why why would you need to do makeup i saw a bunch of jojo cosplays online where they have like line work done on their face to match the drawings of the character. So guys, here's what I ended up looking like in my costume. Let me just say this, I'm already planning on going to another anime convention next month, and I am planning to do another JoJo costume of a certain somebody. I'm not gonna reveal who, but if you guys can recognize who this is, leave a comment. Then it was time to go to the convention. I had to wake up pretty early, and no one else in my family watches anime, so it was just me going. So I had to drive the furthest I had ever driven at that point to the capital of California, Sacramento. So after I got my badge I was ready to go into the convention and I walked in and the first thing I saw was there are just tons of people dressed up and I pictured one of these anime conventions in my head I definitely wasn't thinking this many people were gonna be dressed up but it was nearly everybody and it wasn't even just anime even though the convention was called sack anime there's plenty of comic book characters TV pop culture one of the first costumes I saw was one of the most insane looking ones I've seen this guy was cosplaying juggernaut from x-men and dude the build is crazy look at how like like big this guy looks in that costume. Apparently my dad already knew who this guy was from social media once I showed him the picture. I guess he goes to all the conventions around my area and he does other costumes like a giant R2-D2 mech which I really hope I get to see one day. So you know I had to get a picture with them. Then I decided to go shopping because there was tons of booths where they were just selling anime stuff. There was stuff like anime figures, statues, plushies. Basically, if you like anime and merchandise, I mean, it's just kind of like heaven. I went to one booth with a bunch of figures and the guy there was really nice, but I was kind of eyeing this one Chainsaw Man Denji figure. I'm not gonna say if I bought it, but on screen right now, I definitely bought at least one of the figures that are shown on screen. Also, I told you guys I was gonna tell you my top three anime so chainsaw man also makes the cut for top three when i say top three anime i mean that includes the manga and that is why chainsaw man makes the top three but i started to get hungry so i needed something to eat after walking around i found the food court and you know they were selling my favorite food which you guys probably know is pizza so you know i have to go get myself a cheese pizza i couldn't find anywhere to sit because it was so crowded so i was kind of just wandering around trying to find somewhere to eat and then a security guard at the event tapped me on the shoulder and told me i could sit on the security desk and eat my food. So I sat down in the security chair and I felt like pretty cool. After I ate, I head upstairs and they had a bunch of cool Star Wars stuff. I was immediately greeted by an R2-D2 that was kind of just roaming around looking at me. And there was this guy. <laughs> Throughout the convention, I was taking pictures with a ton of people, which was a new experience for me. If I saw someone wearing a cool cosplay, I just asked them if I could take a quick selfie or a picture with them. So it definitely kind of made me break out of my, you know, social barrier and, you know, ask for these photos. And it also kind of felt weird because I'm pretty used to people asking me for photos, um, you know, fans of the channel, etc. And I didn't really get recognized because probably because I had like a load of makeup on and a costume. A couple of you recognized me through the makeup somehow. So I met some fans at the event too. I also ended up seeing a ton of other JoJo cosplays, which I was not really expecting. I expected seeing a few, but no, like there, there were tons of JoJo cosplayers. I even saw another Jotaro, so it was kind of funny. I decided to go back to shopping and I found this booth where they had a spin the wheel game. So I, you know, I kind of felt enticed to spin the wheel. And uh, what I landed on was what not what I was hell? wanting or oh expecting. Yeah, they ended up giving me some uh, weird stuff. There's also this stand with really cool custom Lego minifigures. So you know I had to check that out. You know, I am Mr. Lego. They had tons of custom like bootleg Legos. They had Five Nights at Freddy's characters, anime characters, cartoon TV 
3D and they even had a fake <laughs> Mr. Gold. You know, coming from someone that owns the real deal, that's kind of shameless. But yeah, I ended up buying five minifigures, so I'll let you know which ones I got at the end. I then found out that they had panels going on, which were like little events going on throughout the convention. So I walked in on one, which was the Owl House panel. Uh, that was a TV show that was on Disney and I, I, I ended up watching the whole thing. It was a pretty good show, but it was pretty cool. They had some of the voice actors there and they were just talking about the show. But I needed to catch a breather, so I walked outside and they had a bunch of cool anime cars. They're all decked out with anime wraps and stuff. Yeah, they're pretty cool. But I once again decided that I needed to go shop and I saw this cute little chopper plus from One Piece. However, um, I didn't end up picking it up because I told myself that I was gonna go get it later. However, this ended up being a big mistake and uh, I'll tell you why in a bit. I went back to where the statues were because you know, I kind of felt like I wanted to get another figure and I saw this Luffy one and I ended up picking it up. I'm currently still watching One Piece. Um, it's like over a thousand episodes. I'm on like, I don't know, 200, 300, I'm not really sure. I went back to go get the chopper plush and it was gone though. And I started to get really sad because I was like, oh shoot, why didn't I buy it? However, the old lady working the shop uh, noticed me uh, and I told her that I wanted the chopper plush and they ended up having one in the back. So I got led to the back and I got, you know, my own chopper plush, so thank you. Then it was time for the cosplay contest where there were judges and a bunch of different cosplayers and yeah, they judged which cosplays were the best. There was tons of cool costumes that I, I, you can just tell that a lot of work went into these. And here's all the winners of the contest. I ended up taking a picture with one of the winners of the contest dressed up as Dio. And as you guys know, Dio is Jotaro, the person I was dressed up as, arch nemesis. So yeah, that was pretty cool. After the contest was over, it was time to go home. I decided that I needed to go get some food. So yeah, I went to McDonald's, but yeah, I felt a little stupid wearing my uh, makeup and outfit. Uh, to the drive-thru. Uh, can I get a large 10-piece nugget meal? All right, guys, I finished eating. Let me show you what I got. Inside are five Lego minifigures. Well, I mean, they're not real minifigures. They're like, you know, knockoffs, but they're, they're, they're pretty good knockoffs. Okay, first up, a Mario minifigure. But next, guys, from the bag, we have Galactus. All right, yeah, that's what he looks like unmasked. Look at how long his legs are. These are not minifigure size. So here's Lefty, my favorite Five Nights at Freddy's character that I met today. While we're on the topic of FNAF, I got Toy Bonnie as well. Next we have Dennis from Chainsaw Man. Um, this is cool. They should make actual Legos of this official. If you don't know who Chopper is, he's from One Piece. And there it is, guys. Look at that. Chainsaw Man statue. Oh, it looks like you gotta put them together. Time skip Luffy. I haven't gotten to this part yet. Pretty cool though. All right guys, so here is my collection of what I got from SAC Anime 2023. So this isn't really a day two, this was like a month or two later. This was the second and it was Fan Expo. I was gonna originally cosplay as my Spider-Man original character, Spider-Star. Here's the suit, it's pretty cool. However, it was pretty cold outside and I didn't wanna freeze to death. Also, I don't know how I'd go into the bathroom in that thing. This year, there were some pretty big celebrities like Mark Hamill himself and Ewan McGregor. I did wanna meet a couple people while I was there, like Kellen Goff, who does the voice of Glamrock Freddy and you know all those other FNAF characters and Justin Brunner who does the Deku dub voice for My Hero Academia. That was like the first anime I watched back in like fifth grade. Before I could do anything I was pretty hungry so you know just like the last convention I decided to go get pizza right off the bat. After that I decided to go check out a comic drawing battle where two famous comic artists kind of battled each other drawing the same character and then they raffled it off to the audience. This one was between Stefan Platt and Dave Johnson and they were drawing Batman. It was pretty cool they were like talking about the art making process which I found interesting. They made some pretty cool Batman drawings. This little kid ended up winning multiple of the drawings in the auction. And I I got pretty close with my raffle ticket. I was like this close. Decided to go up to the celebrity area to go see, you know, if the people I wanted to meet were there. I found Kellen Goff's booth, but it didn't look like he had arrived yet. So I just kept going. It was all set up for him, but yeah, he wasn't there yet. I ended up stumbling into a concert where they were playing anime openings and outros, like covers of those songs. But guys, after that, I decided to go check back at Kellen Goff's booth, you know, to go try to meet him. However, when I got there, everything that was there before his name, the Five Nights at Freddy's art was gone. Everything had vanished. So sadly guys, um, I asked a worker and they said he wasn't showing up today. But yeah, he ended up not being able to show up that last day. Same with the other person I wanted to meet. I ended up making this cool Jojo X FNAF 
fan art and I was gonna have him sign it because he you know, does the voice acting from both of those shows and games. So unfortunately I couldn't get that signed by him, but I did send it to him online and he saw it and he told me, you know, that he'll be happy to sign it at the next convention. Then I went to go check out the Artist Alley, which was a section of the convention just full of artists trying to sell their own artwork, posters, pins, etc. They had a bunch of different types of cool art there and it was pretty cool just talking to the artists and you know seeing what they were selling. I ended up getting some pins for my backpack and a cool t-shirt. And guys, look who I ran into again from the last convention. Finally, I decided to go do some more shopping before the convention ended. I saw these really cool keychains based off of video game cartridges and decided to get a Pokemon one. And there was a bunch of cool statues as well, so you know I had to purchase some of those. I ended up getting one of Makima from Chainsaw Man and Aaron Yeager from Attack on Titan, which is another one of my top three. So now you guys know my top three anime um, in no order. Attack on Titan, Chainsaw Man, JoJo. Let me know if that's valid or if it's not. But then guys, it was finally time to leave. I survived. But yeah guys, those were my first anime conventions and my first experiences with those. I thought it was really cool. I loved meeting the people and meeting people in costume, meeting fans, meeting other people that like the same things I do was pretty cool. But yeah, I'm definitely gonna go to more in the future. I'm planning on going to SAC anime, the winter season, and I'm gonna dress up as Kira, hopefully from JoJo. So I'll see you there if you're going there. And if you met me at any of these conventions or recognize me from the conventions, what's up? Thank you guys for watching though, and uh, make sure to subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next one, which will probably come out in another year. See you guys next time. Peace.